In this and the next few videos, we'll be covering the GCSE physics topic, energy. Here is the GCSE syllabus, and these have all the points that we need to learn about energy. We'll be including these in our next few videos. If you're younger than 15 or 16, which is the typical age you'll be taking GCSE, don't worry since we'll hopefully make this super easy and fun for you guys to understand. We'll also be including extra exam questions which will help you guys out. Enjoy! Hello there guys, and today we're going to be doing an introduction to energy and demonstration of some energy stores like this. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see this today because it is quite dangerous and this video, due to the terms and conditions that we agreed to, could probably be taken down. Let's get on with the video! Energy. There are many different types and many different stores. It's stored in food, it's stored in you, it's stored in me, and it's even stored in this candle. But what is it and where does it come from? Many of us, including me when I was younger, when we think of energy, we think of something magical and mystical. Something that gives us the ability to do stuff, like get up in bed in the morning and go for a run, or essentially just live life. And I guess we were kind of right, but I don't think that would go down very well in an actual exam. You'd probably want to say something like, Energy is the ability to do work. Energy is how this ball gets here. And energy is how this ball reacts when I drop it. Energy is all around us and it takes many different forms. From what scientists can gather, energy has been with us since the beginning of the universe and always will be. <laughs> so technically energy wasn't created. In fact, energy can never be created or destroyed, but it can be transferred from one type of energy to another type. In the GCSE syllabus, it also states that it can be wasted or dissipated. Yeah, but remember, energy can absolutely not be created or destroyed. Like, never. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I knew that. Let's learn some energy stores and what we mean by transferring energy. At school, during lunchtime, my teachers would always tell me... Don't push your food around you. You need that energy for the rest of the day. Well, like many grown-ups, unfortunately, they were right. Because in food, there is a store of energy. And that store of energy is called chemical energy, which is energy stored in chemical bonds that is released during a chemical reaction. Chemical energy can also be found in our bodies. So, when I lift this bouncy ball up, the chemical energy store inside of my body is going into the ball, but as a different store of energy. This store of energy is called gravitational potential energy. If we were to lift my sister like this, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be giving her energy. To be more specific, we'll be giving her gravitational potential. Gravitational potential is essentially any object that is lifted against the force of gravity and then gains gravitational potential energy. And just before we get on with some more energy stores... One thing else to note is that energy can be measured. Energy is measured in joules. No, not those kind of joules. Joules is named after a man called James Prescott Joules, and like many scientists, he had a very cool beard. Joules is represented as a capital J, because it's named after someone. In fact, any unit of measurement named after someone is represented as a capital letter, such as Newton's, which is represented as a capital N. To help you understand what a joule is, we're going to use this deck of cards. This deck of cards, if we put it on the scales, is 99.74 grams, which we can round to about 100 grams. And you don't need to understand this, but due to the gravitational field strength, the force pushing down on this deck of cards is approximately 1 newton, if this deck of cards is approximately 100 grams. So if I lift this, 1 metre, I will have given it 1 joule of energy, approximately. So far, we have learnt two types of energy store. What type of energy store will this deck of cards have at the moment? It's gravitational potential. So if that's one joule of energy, in a donut there's approximately one million joules of energy. That's a lot of energy. Let's learn some more energy stores and do some fun examples. I'm going to demonstrate energy stores by firing Nerf guns. The chemical energy stored inside of my sister's body is transferred into kinetic energy when the part of the gun is pulled back. Inside that part is a spring. The spring will be compressed and the kinetic energy used to move back the gun will be converted into elastic potential as the spring is compressed. Remembering that elastic potential is when a force causes an object to change shape and the energy is then stored as elastic potential as the shape changes. Now let's see what happens. Again, the chemical energy from my sister's body is going into kinetic as she pulls back that trigger. That trigger releases the elastic potential in that spring and fires out the bullet. The elastic potential turns into kinetic, which is essentially any object that moves. 
that the battle commence. Here's my dad's steam train slash tractor. The chemical energy stored in this fire is turned into thermal energy as it heats up the water in this tank here. Thermal energy is the energy contained in the vibrations of different particles in an object. The thermal energy then turns into kinetic energy, moving this wheel here. And sound energy... You can really see the kinetic energy in action here. Some energy will be wasted as sound into the atmosphere. So just to run through what we've just done, here is the train, there's the whistle and there's a fire which is lit by fire lighters and the fire heats up the water in the tank and that rotates the flywheel which rotates the wheel and moves the train. So the chemical energy stored in the fire lighters is released in the fire and is turned into thermal energy heating up the water in that tank there. That, ro that rotates the flywheel which rotates the wheel and moves the train resulting in kinetic energy and some sound in the whistle. In this bottle lid is some pieces of broken up fire lighter. The chemical energy stored inside of the fire lighters is released during the chemical reaction. The chemical energy is then transferred into both light and heat energy. We're now gonna answer an exam question. Figure one shows a cyclist riding along a flat road. Complete the sentence. As the cyclist accelerates, the what energy store in the cyclist's body decreases. You may not have been able to see the question, so here it is. Before we give you the answer, please feel free to give it a go. Complete the sentence. As the cyclist accelerates, the what energy store in the cyclist's body decreases. Is it the chemical, the elastic potential, gravitational potential, or kinetic energy? Chemical. She said chemical and she was correct. Yeah. And um, the chemical energy store in the cyclist's body decreases and the what energy store in the cyclist increases. I hope you guys got the last question correct, and if you did, give yourself a big pat on the back. If you didn't, this is your chance to redeem yourself. Same again, the what energy of the cyclist increases. Is it chemical, elastic potential, gravitational potential, or kinetic? Kinetic. Yeah, that's really right. The kinetic energy store in the cyclist increases. I hope you guys got that one right. I'll be doing some follow-up revision notes on the topics covered in today's video and I'll link them in the description box down below. Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye!